Don't worry, kids are tough. When I was his age, I cut my own head clean off. And I'm none the worse for wear. Now that Freya's given you the travel room to Helheim, it should be unlocked on the table. Watching your back. Let me take this moment to tell you that what you are about to do is absolutely insane. Not even Odin can survive this cold. So, I hope those blades work. Is this the bridge Freya spoke of? No, we're still on the realm travel bridge. We're after the Bridge of the Damned. The dead use it to cross into their permanent home, the city of Helheim. The bridge keeper who minds admission, he's the one we want. Just follow this bridge. Should lead us straight to him. You know, I really hope never to see this place again. Fire of your blades to burn away that hell's bramble blocking the path. <laughs> See that? One of the many reasons we went back for those blades. <laughs> Huh! <laughs> 
Only the newly dead should be here. There's too many. The gate must be closed, and if the gate's closed, then it's true. Hell's full up. Without the Valkyrie to sort and cull them, hell is overwhelmed. What? Now what? When we killed the Reavers near my home, they came here. How did they return so quickly? Time doesn't move the same between all realms, especially where the spirit world is concerned. Like the Light of Alfheim? The opposite, in fact. The Lake of Souls feels faster than Alfheim time, but Hell is much slower than Midgard. Sorry, I'm sure that's confusing. If we will be back to my son all the sooner, that is good. Ah, aren't you a quick study? part of Asgard. Only the worthy dead go there, the warriors who die in glorious combat. Hell is for those who die in dishonor. Criminals. Aye, and those dead of disease, mishap, age. It is dishonorable to grow old. Well, never too late to go out fighting, I suppose. <laughs> Whoa! 
Will killing the bridgekeeper help the dead leave Midgard? I don't expect it will. Though I don't suppose it will make things any worse either. It'll be one less obstacle for the living to reach the inner sanctum of Helheim. But who'd be mad enough to go there? The Bridge of the Damned. And there's the Keeper, making sure the dead are really dead. What is that he holds? That totem contains a powerful source of magical energy, the very power of Helheim itself. But what you want is his heart. Just take it and we can leave. How? Start some trouble. You can do that, right?
Now the heart, brother. You'll have to get your hands dirty. the heart. I need nothing more. You're set. Better not to linger here, though, eh? Kratos. Zeus. Zeus? My father. Your father was Zeus? Well, that explains a lot. What is that place? Never go there. Understand? How is he here? That is not possible. It's just an illusion. Hell's known for torturing its inhabitants with their own past. We should focus on getting back to your son. That lock needs a gust of hell's wind to open it. Yeah. Shh. It ain't supposed to be here. It's cold. Real quick, give me your blades. Why? Yeah, I said I'd help you and I aim to. Come on. Oh, my equipment's in Midgard. Be right back. Yeah. You, you don't suppose he nicked those, do you? There. And now they're ready for the winds of hell. Just target this magical glowy bit here with your blades and throw. Now target that wind trap with your blade. Huh. See that? Now you can absorb and release the winds of hell whenever it damn pleases. So you're welcome. This place is cold enough to freeze a pigeon. I sometimes wonder if there was once some sort of accident in his brain. We have been away too long. Look out! 
behind you. Oh. Sorry, brother. I'm still stuck on what I heard back there. Zeus was your father? Not now. We should focus on getting out of hell. And with that, I cannot argue. I'll just contemplate that little nugget in silence, then. Oh! <laughs> 
To get home to your boy already. We shouldn't delay, brother. It's straight back to Midgard with that heart. Understand? I'm dangling from the hip of the bloody ghost of Sparta! Do not call me that. Oh, no, don't mistake me, brother. From what I heard, the Pantheon had it coming. But it's still a bit to take in. I knew you hate gods, but you really can't stay away from them, can you? You must say nothing to the boy. He must never know. Bollocks, brother. Respectfully, bollocks. He has to know. He'll never be whole without the truth. Look, I get it. You hate the gods. All gods. It's no accident that includes yourself. And it includes your boy. Do you see that? He feels that. He can't help what he is. He can't begin to help it because you haven't even told him. It's all connected, man. You will tell him nothing. Very well. So you know that shortcut between realms? Well, I made it better. Or I might have broke some. We use that. I know what you do. So I took a few gusts from them winds of hell and made it so it ain't just one way. Now you can use it to travel to and from. If I didn't break it. Then we can take it to Freya. There's an idea, brother.
What's the matter? Try out that shortcut between realms. Might be some kinks to sort out, but you'll make it. Just go, brother. You gentlemen certainly know how to get around. Well, this isn't right. Ah, but close enough. He did say there were kinks. We must. The heart. You have it. Yes. Back of your hand. Is too ill. I can break the fever, but to heal. He must know the truth of what he is. Yes. It is not so simple. Help me prop him up. Did I tell you that I have a son, too? It's been forever since I last saw him. At his birth, the runes foretold a needless death. The babe in my arms was so small, so helpless. I knew right then I would do anything to protect him, no matter the sacrifice. Of course, everything I did, I did for myself. I let my needs, my fears, come before what he needed. And I couldn't see his resentment until it was too late. Don't make the same mistake. Have faith in him. I know the truth isn't simple, but nothing is when it involves your child. It is a curse. The boy has been cursed. Don't leave without me. I will not. I'm better now. I see that. Is he well enough to travel? For now. They won't happen again. I promise. You see that it does not. Forget this. Thanks. Your father did the heavy lifting. You should stay, recover. You have done enough. You know my door is always open to you. That's Venon, isn't it? You figured that out, did you? Well, the window looks like Bifrost Crystal, and I know that's not what's on the other side of the wall. 
And, well, it makes you sad. You are wise for one so young. Yes, this is a window to a home I left long ago. But it is only a few. The thing that happened to you in Alphon, you can't leave Midgard, can you? A gift from my former husband upon our separation. Why would Odin trap you in Midgard? Petty cruelty would be reason enough for him. But as with all his rash decisions, he's driven by fear. The Vanir were the greatest threat to the Aesir until our marriage brokered peace. Many of the Vanir now think I betrayed them. The fruits of my sacrifice. To be hated by my own kind. To trap me here is to ensure I can never make it right. Um, so I was wondering, why do you live under a turtle? <laughs> Sorry, guess we're going. Now then, before Modi so rudely interrupted us, we were just about to explore Tyr's vault. Yes, to find the Black Rune. Boy, do you know the way from here? Oh, I don't know. Sure you do, lad. We need a boat. I don't know. I guess we need a boat. Okay, then. Ah, see? The boat washed ashore. Someone did call a serpent earlier. Get in. I will pull. You are quiet. Are you not better? I guess. I know you overheard my talk with Freya. You think you understand, but you do not. Why do you say nothing? You said I was cursed. You think I'm weak because I'm not like you. I know I was never what you wanted. But after all this, I thought maybe things were different. You do not know everything, boy. No. But at least I know the truth now. The truth? The truth? I am a god, boy. From another land far from here. When I came to these shores, I chose to live as a man. But the truth is... I was born a god. And so were you. Boy, have you nothing to say? Um, can I turn into an animal? Can you turn into an animal? No. No, I do not think so. I'm a god. Mother knew? She was a god too? No. She was mortal, but she knew my true nature. I'm a god. Why did you wait so long to tell me? I had hoped to spare you. Being a god... ...it can be a lifetime of anguish and tragedy. That is the curse. Hmm. What sorts of things can I do? 
Can I fly? Or turn invisible? I don't feel like a god. I do not know the reach of your godhood. But over time, we will learn. You sure I can't turn into a wolf? You are welcome to surprise me. Is this why I hear voices sometimes? Are you sure you've never heard any? Not as you do. That's no surprise. Every god is unique. So, maybe I won't get strong like father, but I'll have abilities all my own? You already do, laddie. Your faculty for language is extraordinary for one so young. Time alone will tell what else you'll become capable of. So you knew all along? I did, lad. But I've known more than my share of gods. Me too, apparently. I wonder who else knew I was a god. Freya, for sure. Barak and Sindri? They do not need to know. <gasps> Baldur! Does he know? Is that why he's after us? Do you know him from before? The day of your mother's funeral was the first I ever saw Baldur. That is the truth. Hey, we don't have to go right back to Tears Vault, do we? I mean, we're gods. We can do whatever we want, right? What do you really feel like doing right now? I will show you. Let's try this again, without interruptions. Here we go again. Read it. Death itself I swallow, to spring forth life tomorrow. Oh, I like that one. I wonder if I wrote it. Is that the answer there? It says Earth. Hmm, swallows death, brings forth life. Go. Yeah. I wish I'd known I was a god in Alphon. I wouldn't have felt so bad about killing so many elves. Well, I'm not sure that's the lesson. You've done nothing to regret. The elves forced their affairs upon us. No, I get it now. We had god things to do, and they were in the way, dragging us into their little problems. Again, are we just leaving that there? I mean, just knowing we're gods makes me feel so much stronger. Maybe you feel a little too good right now. With power comes a big choice, lad. You can either serve yourself, or put your godhood in the service of others, like Tyr did. People really loved him, huh? Aye. A god of war, but one who fought for peace. Had a reputation for being heroic and lawful, using his power and knowledge to stop wars rather than start them. So there are good gods. Once in a moon it's been known to happen, yes? This one mentions places I've never heard of. Seems Tyr really liked to travel. Tyr believed the mind, not might, was key to preventing war and chaos. And he also knew visiting other cultures would give him perspective staying in one place could not. While Odin always hoarded knowledge, guarding it jealously, Tyr was open and sharing with his learning and his wisdom. For this, mortals adored Tyr, showing their love by bringing him gifts the world over. So, whatever happened to Tyr? Odin came to regard him as a threat to his rule. He suspected Tyr of collaborating to aid the giants instead.